It is now the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to export our design and let fireworks do the work. So in order to export this design, and it's all set, it has its slices, it's had its text taken care of, it's all set to go, images are optimized, so how do we do the export? Let's take a look at that. In order to export this into HTML and CSS, I'm going to go to File Export. Now when I choose File Export, what this is going to do is give me an interface whose options tend to change quite a bit depending upon this piece here. But first of all, let me create a new folder to put all of my files into. So I'm going to create a new folder, and this folder I'm going to name the same name as the design itself. And the file I'm using is export design. So I'm creating a new folder by that same name. Now the export design folder, I'm going to go ahead and open. This is where I want to place my HTML files and images and also my CSS file. So I'm going to name this file exportdesign.htm. Now this export area here has quite a few options, and more than likely, CSS and images will not be what's automatically showing in your interface. There's also the opportunity to export as HTML and images. Now, when I switch to that, I do get this slice objects will be ignored. And I'm just going to click OK for now. What I want to show you is when I choose HTML and images, I get different settings down in this area than when I choose CSS and images. So HTML and images gives me three additional dropdowns. If I choose CSS and images, notice there's only one. Now I do want to put my images in a subfolder. It's important to keep your files within this folder organized. So I'm going to browse out and I'm going to create a new folder called images within my export design folder. And then I am going to choose that folder for my images. So I'll select that as my images folder. So now my CSS and HTML is going to go directly into my export design folder. Any images that Fireworks creates will go into the images folder right here. So right now the file name is exportdesign.htm. I'm exporting CSS and images, and I don't have to worry about the option within this pages area. I don't have multiple pages within this design but I do want my images put into my subfolder called images. So let me click Save, and I'm getting this little message that I have some boundaries that are overlapping. And what it's going to do is switch my mode of positioning. And this is something we don't want to have to deal with. So I'll show you how to take care of that. Just make note it's the nav bar, and the home nav boundaries that are overlapping. So I'll click OK. Now Fireworks is going to warn me about my font. It's telling me that Palatino Linotype is a non-standard HTML font. Here are some of the more standard fonts, but I personally have not had any issues with this particular font on a web page, so I'm going to continue anyway, and I'll click OK. Now, what happened when I created that? Here is what happened when we exported this file. I'm in the export design folder. And within this folder, notice we have an HTML page and a CSS page. And if I open up my images folder, so notice I have all of the images with the exact names I named them 
within the slices area of the layers panel. So I have output, or should I say fireworks has output, our images for us, created them all. So this is a great feature within fireworks. I have all of the images I need for my web page. I have the CSS file to create the positioning and formatting for my page. And I also have the HTML file. Now there is a subtle issue with regards to that navbar piece and the absolute positioning that was created. But for now, we were able to export our ping file and Fireworks created the images, CSS, and HTM file when it was exported within Fireworks. So that's how you can export your designs as HTML and CSS within Fireworks.